What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Tony G. Back for a nice early morning high cast here. Uh, part of this $1,000 tournament. I uh, hope you guys are all enjoying your Monday morning. I'm supposed to be back to work, but uh, it's uh, COVID. We're back to half time. Less than half time almost. So I get Mondays off now. Usually Fridays off. We'll see how uh, how she goes. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, match number two, group number two, match number two. Dingo uh, is currently for nothing right now. Spoiler alert: um, Lovely Rabbit has yet to play this his first series so far. So uh, if yeah, Rabbit has to beat Dingo in order to prevent Dingo from moving on, because if uh, yeah, you beat both your opponents, you will be moving on. So uh, Rabbit has to win or else Dingo will be advancing. If a Rabbit does win though, however, he will have to beat um, Fire Boo in order to advance. If not, uh, it comes down to the score. And yeah, Dingo 4 would him, so he's, he, Dingo will probably advance if somehow uh, Rabbit loses this and then somehow loses the next match versus Boo. So yeah, still anyone's game, of course, unless Rabbit, yeah, unless Dingo wins. But, uh, oh, my alarm's going off. Look at that. Tony G woke up before his alarm. Killing it. Killing it in life right now. Um, yeah, but, okay. So we're going to see the Dingo 4 gate here versus the 3 gate Lovely Rabbit. And Rabbit's going to uh, give Dingo a little taste of his own medicine and scout him immediately. Uh, Dingo's 4 gate, though, very solid, but, uh,. Lovely Rabbit's Terran, very strong as well. The first Marine going to come down here as well. Uh, no Nexus or anything. Yeah, non-Nexus first. So he's going to send that Marine back home. No point of sending him out into the war zone all by himself. Uh, yeah, these three barracks will be completed. That Academy down very quickly. And E-Refinery immediately as well. So uh, he's not going to waste too many... Uh, rounds of marines but he's skipping it completely right now skipping uh yeah his marine production for quite a while here probably gonna build a bunker up here i would imagine after he does get that round of marines uh, nice little spot for the bunker too because those zealots are paying attention they're gonna get a couple shots off before they're able to engage first two zealots on the way uh continue to get pylons back at home so dingo going to be um also stop a stop making a choke so he's going to be massing zealots until he's at least safe here he's definitely not going to die but uh lovely rabbit has that tang k attitude with this tear and he's going to be stimming forward um a lot more aggressively than the average Terran player here dingo has two probes in here so he's going to be looking to apply some pressure i, I it looks like he cancelled that bunker here, so uh, going to fight this without any bunker here. Getting these um, SCVs out here to get in the way of these zealots, so you can see acting like a little wall here, so then he's targeting each of these uh, down, so uh, doing a fairly good cost-efficient trade there. Um, and yeah, he's going to be able to pick those off, no problem, keeping a lot of his marines alive. Very Gosu stuff here from Rabbit, making that look easy. And now that his fire bats are out, those are going to uh, do a much better job than the SCVs. And a Medic out here, really going to help. Stim nearly done as well. And then once the Stim is done, it's going to be GG. Uh, Dingo doing a good job <coughs> chasing these Marines, but these Marines are going to get this nice little choke here. Going to go behind these fire bats. And now that these more Medics are out, it is going to be uh, tough to get any damage done with the Zealous Rabbit looking making this look so easy but it is not done yet uh, dingo did sneak that second probe here on the side but he is going to be vulnerable to a counterattack. dingo unable to establish his choke not able to block rabbit in so uh, he is going to have to deal with this just with his zealots here he is getting a couple of cannons in around here but it looks like uh, rabbit is going to sniff that out take it out before it can um, get anything done yet and he is going to have 100 percent successfully defended um this cannon attack and uh, Dingo is not going to be able to apply any more pressure here. He's going to have to do something. You can see he's putting two uh, cannons back here just in case there is any kind of crazy fire bat run by. Also getting some cannons up at his choke, just knowing he does have to do this in order to survive. Has to buy himself a little bit of time to get those cannons up. And Rabbit, though, he's not going to F around. He already has a command center done, which is scouted by uh, Dingo. <coughs> oh, bless me. Uh, yeah, these uh, zealots going to try to run away. And, um, yeah, just again, just trying to buy himself 
as much time as he can. Lovely Rabbit opting to uh, chase him right now, thinking that that is going to be worth his time. A couple more zealots coming in here. Dingo doing a pretty good job uh, keeping up with Lovely Rabbit's actions. Um, <laughs> these zealots are all over the place, and now these marines are going to come back. I don't think chasing them was the best idea. A couple of... Uh, Zealots still here poking away. A nice marine stuck right in here. The zealots are way too fat to get in there, but uh, these zealots are still big boys, and they are. Oh, he can get in there. Just have to go in the bottom. He can't go in the side. It's a one-way road there for them, and a four-way for the marines. He's getting a three factories down in. <laughs> uh, Dingo with a dumb little fucking pylon in the back. I hate Dingo. Uh, getting that triple down here now uh, in his Cyberdance core, so his tech isn't like super fast, but not super late as well. Um, it's funny that this fucking pylon is here. I think that's a little disrespectful, Rabbit. You should pick that up. Maybe it's disrespectful leaving it alive, though, too. Uh, and here we go. We're going to be coming in here now with a lot of Marines Firebats here at the front with their medics. Only three cannons here, so not a whole lot of cannons, but that gateway can really fuck with the AI of these units. Uh, you have to have that Tang K micro in order to uh, make it work cost, efficient, cost efficiently. Picking off that uh, pylon now. And uh, really not too much. Getting these uh, pylons around his map to make sure that he can spot drop in or make sh not allow any uh, lifts. Barracks lifts here to get some fire bats. Uh, Dingo also expanding, which is good. Getting a probe on the map while you're getting a small contain here is a super good idea. Also, in the late the later game, this is a advantageous spot almost for the for the uh, Terran player. Terran player is definitely going to be facing some abuse here on this left side as uh, Dingo is going to be having carriers and drops coming in here uh, constantly. And um, uh, but on the positive side for the Terran, he can put his tanks on this ledge. Therefore, almost making it impossible for Dingo to produce any units out here. So if Dingo's going to produce gateways, mass gateways in his base, it's only going to be for defending because he's just never really going to be able to get a successful attack here out of his base once these this ledge is tanked up. Um, <clears throat> that's why he is having to expand. He does have to expand. Usually it's good to expand as a Protoss versus Terran, but in this case he has to. He's not. He doesn't really doesn't want to focus too many gateways in his base because yeah, it's just not going to be um, easy for him to get out. He's gonna. It's gonna be like a Zerg player kind of. He's gonna be using his cannons as a choke to make the Terran kind of siege up, just to just to buy time inside of his base. So it's kind of like a Zerg versus. Uh, Terran at this point. <laughs> the Koreans are so ghostly they can make your Protoss like a Zerg. Um, even Dingo's shitty Protoss is going to be uh, getting that Zerg treatment. You can see he is just massing up. Uh, this Terran army is extremely powerful uh, to, to try to deal with. No Zealot legs either and he's just really stemming forward here which could be a bit of an oversight. A couple of uh, Zealots coming in here in the back and stem forward and step backwards here and take advantage of these slow marines but dingo is looks like he's just gonna have uh, more than enough here reinforcements coming in here and yeah nice job by dingo taking advantage of that aggressive um terran player here who did sim forward trying to pick off those cannons uh sorry just to mass zealots here back at home dingo still doing a pretty good job but uh, i think he's just gonna be outclassed here five gateways the magic number six gateways Six gate barracks, I mean, holy shit, I'm crazy high. Uh, six barracks are going to be producing. I uh, got his one engineering bay uh, making his upgrades, and yeah, we got the factory continuing to be produced here. And it's just going to be a matter of time. If Dingo, yeah, Dingo finally has those SCVs out as well. Going to start getting turrets and bunkers here, which uh, is just going to seal the deal. A couple bunkers with fire bats is absolutely going to be able to destroy a million zillion uh, zealots. Pretty much Dingo, his only chance now is to get this counter off. I think his main is as good as gone. Um, I think it will go down eventually. And uh, yeah, Dingo's going to have to just buy himself as, as much time as possible to attempt to hold this front. But yeah, this is not an easy thing to uh, break here. Fire bats and marines all up in these bunkers. Tanks, marines sieging back. And uh, the one, actually, oh, look at a little DT doing a little bit of work. One thing I am a little bit worried about is maybe this attack doing some kind of damage. There's absolutely nothing here back at home except for these few 
um, units that have been produced and look a bunch of zealots are going to come in here and attempt to get a counter attack <clears throat> and this could this could be okay he's, he's, he's not waiting too long to do this and this actually might be the perfect time ironically Dingo always uh, able to to really snipe out those times really confident in his timings here uh, I don't think even if he uh, was hypothetically map hacking it's gonna help him in this match uh, it obviously will help him, but like, Rabbit is too go through. Gonna take more than map packs to take him out. A couple of zealots hacking away at these SCVs, but uh, losing SCV is not gonna be a big deal. Throwing down this, yeah, a couple bunkers back at home. Uh, gonna fill them up with his fire bats. Hopefully, they are misrallied right now. But there we are, they are starting to take control. These tanks inching forward closer and closer. Uh, gonna scan that. Still, Dingo keeping his SCVs alive. And yeah, trying his best. He may actually take this out. This one tank getting right up there. Gonna siege and take it out. 65 kills right there. Beautiful stuff. And that should be the beginning of the end right here. Uh, nice try, Mr. Dingo. But uh, you're gonna get easy peasy here by a rabbit Terran. <clears throat> but yeah, I guess he still has his main and a triple. So yeah, I guess it's still not over. But he still has a shit ton of bunkers in his base. And uh, now that he has bunkers back at home, he should be safe. Uh, Rabbit, not sure how big of an expansion there is out there, so he is going to siege his tank. So he's not going to, um, not going to sleep on Mr. Dingo. Picking off this turret, which is actually a big deal too. Uh, Dingo knows, since he can see in the fog of war, that there is more turrets there. So we're, I imagine he's going to be building a bunch of DTs here. But again, the DTs might not work completely with the scans. Uh, Zell's coming in here for the flag, but not nicely timed here with his other units he's gonna pull them back a little bit wait for his units at the front to come in but then again he's gonna miss time that a little bit but now he may just be able to clean this up and uh, yeah if Dingo didn't take so much damage there <clears throat> on his uh, probes aka lose all of them uh, he actually would be completely okay but since Rabbit was able to do that he is still just absolutely chilling just going to take a second to remake his army. Siege up here at the um, side, like I was saying earlier. Going to be able to destroy all those units before they even have a chance of thinking about attacking. Uh, a couple more zealots coming in here at the front. But yeah, this, I think Rub Rabbit is just going to mass up one more time. Maybe just build a couple bunkers here at the front to uh, prevent that counterattack from getting in here. And then he's just going to go on in there. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. Uh, he knows that he's, he's, he's going to have a pretty uh, easy time getting in there again. But yeah, he just has to take a second, take a deep breath, remax, and uh, yeah, go finish him off. I think that's exactly what we're going to see here. Um, yeah, everything looking really good. Rabbit, real strong player. I think like Rabbit and 10K will be just as good as JH and 10K, if not better. I don't know who's better, Lovely Rabbit or 10K. Like I really haven't watched many of these guys' replays in that last season. You guys are seeing them just pretty much for the first time, just like me. All of these players play because yeah, it's pretty AFK that last season. This 2018 for the last couple seasons, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, they're Koreans, and I know them. I know who they are. I just am not super duper familiar with uh, exactly how they play. Uh, we see the Zealots and High Templar is going to be the unit choice for Dingo, who is really doing a good job. He's got, he does back up to almost 50 probes here, so the power of the triple uh, Nexus. Uh, here we go, going to come in here, two storms going to go down there, take a lot of marines and uh, going to injure those tanks. It does take two storms to kill a tank. So that's why you want to spread them out as much as possible. Don't want to group them all up because uh, two storms can take out like 20 tanks if they're really, really bunched up. Um, yeah, Diggle just not uh, not having the economy now to do what he needs to do to deal with this Terran player. Firebats and Siege Tanks. Pretty good. You don't see Firebats continue to be used in the mid-game like this. But obviously a real good versus those Zealots. Tank slowly moving forward. Rabbit, his um, supply slowly getting to that magic 200-200 number. 
where, yeah, it'll just be impossible for Dingo to kill on his economy. Uh, scouting around the map now just for expansions, wants to get a little bit of um, an idea of what's going on. He knows Dingo does have an expansion. I'm, I'm not sure if he scanned it or not. Uh, nope, he has not scanned it, so he's not sure exactly where it is. He's going to scan here, though, and see how little of an army is left. And yeah, just going to march forward. Classic Korean um, game awareness, knowing that that this army is okay to push forward. And yeah, he scanned again, and it, it's going to go right into the main and siege up right in front of these probes. Once again, beautiful stuff here. Uh, yeah, really taking advantage of his already advantage that he has. And yeah, taking out half those probes is really going to have to go with the A here. And... Uh, yeah, good for him. He, I thought it was technically over a while ago. I, I think it was technically over once those probes got killed. You, you just cannot take that kind of damage versus a player as high level as Rabbit. Now, one last ditch defense effort here. Gonna get a nice surround, another storm off. Definitely being as cost efficient as he possibly can in these trades. The 1 1 to 0 0, those upgrades really being helpful. Uh, Rabbit just neglecting to put his tanks on the side and um yeah really really uh yeah taking his time finishing dingo off dingo throwing down a another nexus here uh losing probe sucks but it's a lot better than losing your main and yeah i think we're just once again gonna wait for rabbit to uh get his uh army up to what it needs to be, gonna come in here once again. If, if he just waited till he was max, like he could just finish this off, but that's just not the Korean way. They want to finish him off. They can finish him off five seconds earlier. They'll 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 try. They'll try. It's like you can uh, win in five seconds at a 95% win uh, percentage, or wait 20 seconds and have a 100% win rate. They're like ah, fuck it, 95. Good enough. Which obviously 95 is a really good uh, percentage. Anyway, but, um, yeah, we're watching the beginning of the end. Tons of Widow Mines all around here. That's actually real smart, too. Uh, really going to be able to take out that army when your when you're, uh, yeah, opponent's so poor. Nice surround here by those uh, Zealots. You can see the Zealot Micro really matters in these kind of situations. But Dingo just holding on um, like the little bitch that he is, but... He's, he's dead. He's gonna be the dead boy. Vulture's coming in here. Gonna start laying some Widow Mines. And yeah, very nicely done here by Lovely Rabbit. Uh, never really in trouble. He absolutely destroyed that Foregate. And yeah, you don't want to... Uh, you don't want to go against... You know, I, I think a, the main issue was the rabbit scouted him early. And uh, once they get that much information on you, they, they know exactly in their mind. Their mind just starts calculating all the possible uh, possibilities to uh, how they can win this. Again, going to try to sneak these tanks up to try to siege up on these probes. But uh, going to get a cut off by those zealots. And Dingo somehow fucking back up to 80 probes. Like a madman. He builds probes like a madman. The Marines, yeah, no, he's, yeah, but 180, this is a nice big army, this is definitely going to get in here. And yeah, Dingo, very BM not leaving here. Going to throw in some counterattack here, but just going to get destroyed by those Widow Mines. Very nicely done here. And yeah, GG. Dingo actually going to say GG, surprisingly. And Rabbit's going to go up 1-0 in this series. Operation prevent Dingo from moving on. Still in full effect. Let's go, lovely rabbit. One nothing. Fuck you, Dingo. All right, jumping into it. Game number two here of our best of seven. Um, Operation prevent Dingo from moving on, and Dingo is going to be the Zerg player versus lovely rabbit Protoss. So let's see what build Rabbit is going to use to abuse this super difficult matchup 
Dingo does have a pretty good Zerg though. His Zerg is not brainwashed by the low money uh, fundamentals that the Koreans have. So he, he his Zerg is just pure FMP Zerg and pure on this map Zerg. So he is uh, uh, he does have a very strong Zerg. Not going to lie, but um, yeah, it's obviously going to be super vulnerable. Koreans very rarely if ever lose with a protoss so i'm gonna have to look at the at, at that uh one of these days to see if any of the koreans have actually lost as protoss because i don't think they have it if they have it is super rare uh going to get the overlord which i guess someone said in the comments isn't as greedy as um i thought it was <clears throat> it obviously it does it, it has to be delayed a little bit because uh when I get the Overlord before the pool, sometimes that mid build just seems like it hits a lot harder. But who knows? Maybe that's just a feeling I got and uh, not actually calculated all out. So uh, maybe I learned something. Maybe I didn't. We'll never quite know. Um, but yeah, okay, so we got the two gates out here. We have the double probe scout here. Uh, Dingo. Uh, which, which, whatever, he fucking can do whatever he wants to do. I don't give a shit anymore. Uh, going to come in here. It's not going to be that big of a deal in here. And even if he does have map packs, I really think Lovely Rabbit will destroy him. Um, but, okay, yeah, we do have the only, the first, only one drone out here. Okay, he's going to send that second drone out once his probe does get here. He has been scouted. Overlord going to come in here and see exactly what he's up against. We do see that ha uh, Nexus going down on the hatcher here. Um, first shot there, a couple shots on that hatchery, which is not good. You don't want to waste any shots. Uh, but he is now going to start punching away at these um, token colonies. Going to send one zealot on by here, which is nice here. Going to start using this um, zealot right in that thing. Little uh, corner there. Going to pick off a worker, his first worker. Almost got that second worker here. The the, the sunken goes down, and he's going to even move that back, bring in these reinforcements here. And start picking away <clears throat> at that second sunken. So this zealot doing a good job distracting these zerglings. Once again, uh, Lovely Rabbit only has two gateways. So it's not like he can make a crazy amount of gateways. He just really has to micro these ones a lot. I'm going to get another worker. If you got another worker, that would be absolutely huge. Yeah, getting two already is really going to hurt Dingo. Uh, that's going to be more damage than you could possibly hope for with your two gateway versus a Zerg here in this matchup. So Rubbit absolutely being as cost efficient as he possibly can. But Dingo not taking a crazy amount of damage and is going to be able to hold on and survive. Um, we do see the Nexus down. I think I already said that before. And the core, I guess, is a new thing to see. The core in the forge going down here, adding a third gateway here. A couple of Zerglings able to run by and going to get a scout off in uh, Rabbit base. Uh, which is nice. <clears throat> Probably not necessary with all of the software that Dingo is running in the background. But uh, still nice to see that he's at least putting in a little bit of APM effort to hide it. Uh, I am I am kind of joking about him hacking. I don't really think he hacks. I think just he something's happening. I think something suspicious is happening. He may not be map hack, but I am suspicious of Dingo and Jose, both of them, for some reason, right? Like it's just, I know all the players I've watched. How come those two players? I'm I'm suspicious of it. No one else. I don't know. It's just that feeling. I just got that feeling. <clears throat> Jose currently supply stuck right now. Going to be building two overlords. It really hurts. You don't want to be supply stuck as a Zerg player, but uh, he's trying to move that little Zergling around to scout. So uh, he got some information at the very least. Um, one upgrade going down in that forge. We do see the Citadel of a Dune and that second Robo going down. So uh, Lovely Rabbit going to commence dropping here. A bad rally here for those drones. Going to lose a drone for no reason. And um, <clears throat> Rabbit going to take this opportunity to apply some pressure. He sees Dingo's been slacking on those uh, frontal sunken colonies. So going to pop that one up, make himself a nice little doorway and walk himself in here. Uh, Dingo only having a single sunken colony at home may um, uh, yeah, need to build some Zerglings here to help deal with this. Uh, that sunken is going to go down as well. 
And yes, three Zalats low on shields, um, but alive here, gonna start fighting off these Zerglings. All he wants to do is get a drone. Needs to get a drone. Gonna get one drone, two drones, three drones. Oh, three drones there, which is huge. Once again, uh, for a Zerg player that only has three um, hatcheries. Getting that Hydralisk den with the speed here, but just macro back at home like nothing has even happened in his life. Four gateways, got those two robos building two or uh, reavers out here. So I think his next attack is uh, going to just be in the front. They really like to do that. The Zealot speed almost done. And um, yeah, we see a lot of gateways being added on. Really good to use this the reaver, take down these sunkins, and then yeah, it's going to be a GG, I imagine. Um, <clears throat> Dingo doing what he can though. You can see he is off. Um, he's trying to add his hatcheries. He uh, he he does know what he wants to do, and his timings are pretty good. But uh, this timing, I think, is going to be devastating. Uh, Dingo going to send some zerglings up here to get some vision on top, knowing that this is going to be a common um, area to be dead, to be attacked, to be dropped. Uh, adding a couple more sunken colonies here. Yeah, you just want to continue to build drones with this front hatchery. Just continue to build sunken colony as much as you can. Um, so you don't have to overcommit. You don't want to have to pull drones from uh, your other hatcheries to build your main. You know you're in a little bit of trouble if that is happening. Um, yeah, first sunken. Gonna go down. A Zergling out here. Got a couple shots off on those Reavers. That, that is one brave um, Zergling. I guess that's a pretty good idea to send one Zergling out. You're technically making them use one scare of each time. And that's what Dingo's actually doing right now. Cute little idea there, Dingo. Going to uh, punch these shields down. <laughs> uh, Dingo, he's such a funny guy. He's got the, He tries to do these Korean tricks, but he's got his uh, non-Korean brain. So, it's just funny seeing those little things like that. Little things like that. Funny stuff to me. Continuing to do the one Zergling strategy. Um, I think by the time the Zergling gets there, though, like he's literally just wasting one scarab. I think that's literally all this is designed to do. <laughs> Which I guess is a good, right? I guess. Um, here we go. Now the mass Zealot speed lots coming in here. Quite a few Hydras, but so many Hydras. 150 supply. So many Zealots, I mean. And these two Reavers just doing work right now. Even just running past some of these sunken colonies. Uh, yeah, very nicely done here. But once again, Dingo not doing the worst. Is going to have just enough Hydras here to possibly hold this first wave. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe he just has enough. I'm not sure. I think he's going to die regardless because, uh, yeah, the, the reinforced, he's just going to be able to stay max here. Over 100 supply ahead, and yeah, Dingo can micro his dumb little heart out all he wants, but this is a GG, and we'll see if he says it himself. Hey, look at that. Wow, he is going to say it. Dingo, going to lose that. Going to go down 0-2 to Mr. Lovely Rabbit. Looking stronger than ever. Pooping right down Dingo's throat. We love to see it. And yeah, we'll see you in the next game. Game number three. We got Lovely Rabbit as Zerg, unfortunately for him. But uh, good for us as viewers if you want a little bit of a closer series. Um, versus Dingo's Protoss. Yeah, so this one I think uh, is going to give Dingo... Uh, it's it's going to definitely give Dingo an opportunity to uh, get himself on the scoreboard. Prevent that... Um, fire boo sweep and uh yeah i'm interested to see how mr lovely rabbit decides to play this if he is able to survive the early game he is going to still be in trouble probably in the mid game because the drops are just going to be coming in fast and furious but uh if he's able to survive early mid game the late game guardian drop is going to be a real threat here for mr dingo uh his main will be under siege eventually and it's not going to be too far away for him to be able to take that out. I think that will be Lovely Rabbit's number one focus once he realizes where and what is going on in this uh, matchup. I like the hatchery placement. 
Um, very nice. Gonna be able to only require two to three sunkins. Two sunkins for sure to uh, wall this off. And yeah, that's nice. Pool going down. After the Overlord. So maybe I've just been wrong my whole entire life. Uh, two gateways going up. Uh, Dingo, I imagine, versus the Koreans, he, he's a little bit scared, so he will go for the four gateway almost always. It is the bread and butter Protoss build. It's uh, the build that allows you to get the most Zealots the quickest without, um, yeah, with, with being able to afford it. You should be, you can do constantly afford four Zealots being built with the four gateways for the, for the, yeah, for the longest time. And if you want to tech, it's, it's still okay. Like, every, every, it's not too slow. Everything's good. Um, in the olden days, <clears throat> you'd pretty much always either mid-build or four-gated and then just went into a triple nexus. That was, yeah, just the, the, the power Protoss build. Rabbit did throw down a, a geyser, but canceled it. Probably just doing that little overlord trick, perhaps. Maybe he just decided to change his mind. Uh, maybe, I think he actually decided to change his mind once this overlord came in here. And uh, saw that there was no additional Nexus, no additional uh, gas or anything. He's like, oh shit, Zell's incoming. Uh, I don't need gas immediately. Um, I need to hold me choke here. Uh, I don't like this first placement of that Sun Colony. You could definitely place it lower and then put that second one on top of there. Making that uh, wall just a little bit uh, smaller. Nice little drone uh, hold position there. One Zealot is able to get in with a probe. So he is going to have to deal with that. Uh, which is going to require his uh, Zealots to leave the defensive position. We see at 8 workers, we do not want to lose a single worker. Bad micro there by uh, Dingo. Going to AFK his Zealot, but keeps it alive regardless. Uh, piling up some Zealots here. Going to get that first Geyser as well uh, before any Nexus or anything. So it looks like he's going to maybe try to get uh, a Robo uh, if he can. Just yeah, keeping this probably on a control square there. Uh, that's how I keep my stuff alive because I don't have the APM to just constantly be clicking it. You can just control, control, just have a little probe going to fucking square. Um, yeah, distract, get some information. Um, you're gonna get that Nexus now. It does have a gas that he's not collecting from. Uh, gonna try to get a run by here. And. Yeah, not gonna work at all. That's gonna be a big time. <clears throat> fail there for Mr. Dingo. Uh, I feel like he had an opportunity to uh, to walk in there, but not going to take it. Forge going down now, and I imagine we're gonna get that core and another Nexus. Maybe I don't know. Dingo, yeah, he does get that other Nexus. Blah, still no core, and um. Yeah, Rabbit's done a good job holding this. Doesn't want to get that gas. He wants to get that gas so badly. And that's two geysers, so... Uh, I wonder if this is just going to be a Hydra build. Overlord going to come in here and confirm exactly what he's up against. Oh, cancelled that Nexus as well. It did get that core. Um, pushing forward once again. This is almost at the point where you have to get a... a, a, a like that's some Dragoons or a cannon up here to try to break that little front because that's just a nice hefty wall for him. He's going to decide to build that, bring that probe up instead of using the Dragoons. Uh, I don't mind that at all. Also going to prevent any lurkers here. We're going to see what Lovely Rabbit is going to do with his gas. I feel like it's going to be a Hydralist den. You don't usually get two in going into a layer, but uh, since maybe he gets normally gets his gas so early, uh, that's what he's going to do. So we'll keep an eye on that. What he's going to do with that first hundred gas. If he's going to go for that layer or not. Kid going to go down here. Going to be able to start poking away at this. Uh, looks like Dingo is committing to Zealots. Can, yeah, just going to be massing here. The Zergling is going to come in here and try to uh, take out these cannons. But uh, decent little uh, surround with these Zealots around there. Going to prevent that from happening. Overlord annoyingly placed on top of those minerals, going to just be as annoying as possible. Uh, it is a little annoying when you click that. When you're, trying, when you're trying to go real fast and you accidentally click the fucking Overlord instead of the minerals. 
Even if it happens once in every 30 times you try to collect it can be annoying. Uh, annoying enough for me to almost always build a fucking cannon there. F you, Overlord. Get the fuck off my minerals. Corsair is going to come in here. And, um... Yeah, there is a little bit of a hole here once this hatchery goes down. It is the um, Hydra's Den, which, which I thought is going to get that layer as well and an additional hatchery. So, now, uh, Lovely Rabbit not going to go for the Tang K Muta default mutability. He is going to go for some Hydra's, and I think that's an excellent idea. Um... I think he's getting that layer because I think he wants to get the Overlord speed and Overlord drop ASAP. I think all he's thinking about is how how nice it would be to drop right here. Um, I think that's what's going through Lovely Rabbit's mind. Dingo, on the meantime, he is getting his Zealot speed and he has just been massing Zealot. So he's going to try to come in here with just a shit ton of Zealots here. He's going to go for a, yeah, a very powerful, powerful timing attack here. Uh, once these, they have the walls down wall down and what's dingo gonna do i think he's gonna wait for that zealot speed uh this is a really good build with that one plus one upgrade too you always see the creators get that plus one upgrade i don't think he did get it no he did not get that one plus one upgrade on his zealots which can make a big difference here corsair could have come in here and scout exactly what's gonna go on a uh, zealot rage being done but dingo at 125 supply he is maxing he has not stopped producing zealots this whole entire time and yeah the zerg's only at 49 supply this could definitely catch the zerg off guard uh now that yeah this 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 choke is a little bit vulnerable here he comes coming in now with a lot of zealots here will the zerg be able to hold on he really has to be able to use this choke here Hydra's getting a little distracted by the Corsairs, and yeah, these Zealots are going to get a huge surround down here. Dingo may actually just be able to win here with a, a max Zealot, a uh, speed Zealot build here. Just kind of catch Rabbit off guard, who uh, was not expecting this at all. Uh, and yeah, I guess pretty nicely done here by Mr. Dingo. Just shows that the, the, the power of Protoss versus Zerg. Uh, if you don't know exactly, even if you kind of do that, Overlord almost knew exactly what was going on. And just <clears throat> yeah, unable to hold on. You just yeah, if you don't have the exact um, exact shit you need, Protoss can just kill you. You're gonna pick off that Hydralis then. And yeah, this is actually absolutely gonna be GG. Lovely Rabbit just getting a little caught off guard there, and he is just gonna get destroyed. Uh, yeah, what a fun matchup. Dingo gonna get himself on the scoreboard. Uh, he's still down two to one, but uh, we're gonna jump into the next one. All right. Game number four, Lovely Rabbit, going to be Terran, Dingo going to be Protoss, so uh, Dingo going to have himself an opportunity once again to win himself a game, always, always favored to win once you uh, get Protoss, uh, but yeah, Lovely Rabbit, Terran, we've seen it before, very strong, very aggressive, and um, yeah, ain't no easy win, that's for sure. Uh, Dingo gonna go for a Nexus. No, never mind. He's just gonna go for the four gateways. Never mind. Dingo gonna just keep doing what he's doing. Plays bread and butter. Know what he's most familiar with. Not trying to do anything too fancy. Lovely Rabbit, though, gonna go for a two barracks academy build here. I'm gonna go for some very quick fire bats and medics, which can be super strong, but you're gonna have a couple less marines than usual which can be scary when dealing with a four gateway protoss now this first marine is going to come in here and it must have scouted what's going on yeah he, he definitely scouted what's going on um going to be able to send this marine back dingo uh playing coy scouting the incorrect way um just so uh to, to get some of that heat off him i think i think that's why he's doing this uh yeah, we all know we all know you're not really scouting there. Yeah, we know. We know, Ding. We know. Okay, thanks for the show, though. Thanks for putting in some effort to uh, deter the haters. Yeah, we know. We're not even going to bother going up there. We know. There we go. Yeah, let's just get to the point. Yeah, ding there we go. We, we know. We know, Dingo. We know. Okay? We get it. Um. Oh, that'd be Gosu. That'd be Gosu. Ah, Dingo sucks. Dingo sucks. He lost the probe to an SCV because he's stupid and has low APM. Uh, very nicely done by Lovely Rabbit. Love it. He's going to have this wall established. Uh, not going to be able to take a lot of damage here. And medics and firebats will be coming out here. So, um, 
Lovely Rabbit pulled it off. He pulled off that cheeky old Academy build. He's going to have Stim hella fast. Um, he's probably going to take out this gateway with his SUV too. I imagine Dingo is not going to realize that this uh, gateway is under attack for a long time and he may just kill it. Uh, Dingo could probably gonna have to put down a cannon to prevent this SUV because Dingo just is not does not have the the micro the APM to uh, deal with something like this this early on. And here we go, the first attack coming in here, fire bats, medics, everything all around. Still getting a pretty decent surround here, even popping out these marines from the bunker just to stim them. And yeah, Dingo gonna be able to take that out here, uh, and run right by the. Yeah, the, the, that front bunker. Gonna start attacking a barracks, interesting enough. Spreading out his units, gonna pick off those fire bats, and suddenly Lovely Rabbit is in trouble. He had a fully unpenetrable choke, which seemed like it, and now, yeah, he's gonna have to micro his heart out. Dingo already putting in some cannons, yeah, just putting on full on uh, four gate pressure. Uh, gonna try to keep his units alive and do what he can here. Uh, cannon going down. Yeah, like I said, he's probably to deal with that SUV that uh, probably probably just committed him committed suicide. No, maybe he's back actually collecting. I, I think he snuck back this cannon, went back and collected. Lovely rabbit never loses his workers. Um, Dingo, yeah, trying to uh, just spread this Terran army out as much as he can. And yeah, just non-stop producing zealots, and you can see how how many zealots you can make off of this four gate build this is why it is the most common 2v2 build you can just have so much uh, pressure on the map here uh, his choke has been penetrated here and he's gonna throw down that nexus now that he knows no counterattacks are uh, likely to happen four cannons though ain't no thing for uh, for Korean Terrans they'll stim forward and fight cannons they don't give a shit about nothing um, Cheeky little probe in here, gonna start building some more uh, cannons. And yeah, since you don't have any gas, you really have to rely on just Zealot cannons, basically the only two uh, fighting things you can buy without gas. Um, gonna throw down the two. What is that? Command, can, does I have a triple command center now? I'm throwing down those three factories and an engineering bay. So, uh, yeah, Lovely Rabbit, not phased at all by that early pressure. Uh, not deterred from just playing normally. Has his choke basically reestablished. Is going to see that top left cheeky cannon pressure. And, um, yeah, he's confident that he's just going to be able to chillax, uh, get himself up to where he needs to be before breaking out and hopefully just shitting down Diggo's throat again. Adding a, uh, another barracks. He liked to add two more last time. We'll see if he goes up to the six barracks again. We'll see if that's his magic number. Do have the upgrades going here uh, for the Terran. No upgrades for the Protoss. I would like... There's just no reason not to upgrade on your forge in fastest. If you have a forge, you might as well click an upgrade. Maybe you can get all three upgrades on a single forge before you need to add any more. But you, you'll never you'll never do that if you don't fucking try, bud. You'll miss a thousand of the shots you don't take, they say. And here we go. The Terra going to stim forward. Eat up those cannons like they're nothing. Uh, Zealot's going to move back, but Dingo has more cannons and gateways back at home. He is a scared little boy. He's trying to make this uh, middle position his little church because he is scared of, and he needs to go to church. Um, these fire bats are going to die chasing that probe. And then uh, these marines are going to stem forward and start fighting these cannons. Uh, the Zealots are going to try to push them back and wait for these other cannons to be building, but... Uh, yeah, this is never what you want to do as a Protoss player is uh, start choking up this early panickingly versus a uh, Terran. But he's been massing non-stop and he's still getting pushed back. So, uh, yeah, not easy to do, but he's, he's going to have a shit ton of Zealots. And once that Zealot speed leg is done, they just get so much more powerful. And I think he, he, he may almost just be able to do what he did in that last game and just kind of overwhelm the uh, Terran by just pooling up all of his Zealots until he just has a too many. Too many to be able to react to. 
a drop coming in here. That's something that will be very, very good here. If he's able to get that drop off, um, that'll be devastating. Again, you just cannot be, you cannot afford to lose any workers. Normally, you don't want really want to lose any workers in this matchup, but especially versus a lovely rabbit level player who's already sieging down your main. Here the drop comes. Gonna siege up here. Dingo at 60 workers. Already 30 down. 31 on that first shot. Gorgeous. 32 down. 36 workers. 38 or so workers there. And yeah, that is going to slow Dingo down a lot. He's going to have to, yeah, he's going to have to come in here with these Reaver and Zealots. Going to take out this first choke fairly easily. And, um, yeah, d another dropship ready to go. So Rabbit definitely going to be dropping again. That's something that you just, you can't forget about. These You have to get those three cannons everywhere on each of your sides so you don't get that. Uh, yeah, tank drop, because it could be devastating. Dingo really going to have to uh, rely on getting some work done with this counterattack, which I don't think is going to happen. And, yeah, he's going to have to get some drops going. Only on a single robo, though, still. Turret starting to be thrown up here from Lovely Rabbit. Lovely Rabbit looking just very strong in this matchup. Very, very strong. Getting both of his upgrades. Only has the 5 Tony G barracks this time. That's my magic number. I, I, I five, I think, is more than enough. Unless you're just going real crazy, uh, or yeah, you you just have you smell blood or something, right? Uh, Reavers and Zealots being thrown back here to help stop this uh, tank drop, which I don't know if it's coming anymore. A double double drop here. Uh, these are going to be doing less and less, but the, something that. I never even thought about doing it until I watched the Koreans do it. Was they they'll drop their siege tanks here, way back here, and then scan, and then the siege tanks can just shoot so fucking far that you can still be able to target them. Uh, he can also start sieging up even just up here and start picking off uh, these, eventually transitioning into nukes. In the late game, this is not a fun spot to be as a Protoss player versus a Terran. Uh, this probe going to try to cut off the first drop coming in here for Dingo. Lovely Rabbit not reacting. He has 64 probes not reacting. Still not reacting. Going to lose at least 30. Where is that other High Templar? I didn't, this guy only has 7 kills. Oh, I just fucking too slow. Um, but yeah, he lost like 40 workers there, which is going to absolutely even this up a lot here. Coming in here with at, on the side here with 4 tanks, so only 2 cannons here. On the side, so this is going to get some work done too. Going to scan over there, get another shot off. Didn't get the most there. Does get a, a decent shot off there, getting 10 or so workers. But yeah, Dingo definitely uh, got a little lucky there. He could have absolutely lost both of them with those four siege tanks if they were just dropped a little bit closer. Yeah, like if he just dropped them right there, even if he dropped them back here, only two cannons, that's not enough to kill off two tanks let alone four tanks um not fucking around though he's 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 uh he sees that his base is a little shitty so he's gonna he's gonna remove some of these things to maximize the space of everything um which is cute little stuff i always pixel every single drop every building that i have i, I measure it out so my bases are always perfectly symmetrical and beautiful i love beautiful bases um, but the Koreans, they're not, they're not used to it, so they always do these weird little extra things uh, that they just come up with on the spot. Don't really plan for it. Another Zello High Templar getting dropped there. And uh, yeah, that, that, that did pretty good damage down to 30 workers. Another drop coming in here. Now, now this is the only vulnerable spot, but he does have those couple of Zealots there that will help. I guess actually right here is still pretty vulnerable too. Uh, not the best cannon defense here from Dingo. Another drop going to come in here. Does get a shot off, but I don't think it got very many, like 10, maybe less than 10 that time. <coughs> Continuing to drop, though. Lovely Rabbit really ap applying a lot of pressure with just his drops. Um, still behind in supply. Uh, going to go around once again. These drops aren't doing devastating amounts of damage anymore and you can see Dingo uh, 
yeah, obviously taking these drops very seriously while also getting his drops ready for himself. Um, the drop defense hasn't been stellar from Lovely Rabbit. Uh, he has, yeah, definitely taken damage. I think another command center here. And continuing to get drop shifts, which is very interesting. I don't know at what point you give up on the dream of uh, dropping. It's usually like two or three drops. Uh, this is going to come in here and it's going to get, what is he at, 49... Wow, didn't lose a single SCV there, so very go through dodging for Lovely Rabbit. Going to take zero damage from that. And yeah, Lovely Rabbit a little poor. Dingo uh, doesn't have the hugest army or hugest base, but the game continues. And uh, I don't really know who's winning. I would say Lovely Rabbit is winning. But um, Protoss pretty good. Starting to upgrade his air upgrades here as well. So Dingo is uh, thinking about getting carriers at some point. Is at only one upgrade too. So he's so poor that he's not being able to, to use any upgrades. Another drop coming in here. Dingo at 89 workers. Oh my goodness, like 50 workers there. Beautiful shots there. Very, very nice there. Yeah, 80 down to 30. So I like, like 50 workers there easily. And yeah, now I would say right now Lovely Rabbit's ahead, but let's see what this drop does. This drop's going to come in here, uh, going to get stimmed and taken out. Uh, so tough luck there for Mr. Dingo. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be a matter of time, I think. You can see Dingo is scared of that top harassment here. Also wants to get some pylons on the map to get some vision. Of course, they're going to pick off that empty dropship, which isn't a big deal. It does have a probe up here on the map, so he can uh, get carriers or whatever he wants. And yeah, Lovely Rabbit just going full drop mode this time. Going to load up another dropship. Why not, I guess? Uh, throwing some siege tanks back here, which I do like. And they're all coming in here. Marine Stim Ford picked that off immediately. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, Dingle's drops not working out so much a drop coming in for mr lovely rabbit just gonna walk right through the center siege up these tanks this is crazy to watch here 70 50 drones gonna lose at least 20 there one more shot off he's gonna get another shot off got another three or four workers here so uh, dingo never gonna be able to get his uh, worker count off it seems very very poor man lovely rabbit though has it been macroing back at home quite as much 16 minutes in most uh people you'd think have a lot bigger base at this point but he has been taking damage and he has been dishing damage so um obviously he's not just afk in it he has been putting in that work here and um yeah we're just waiting for mr uh dingo to just die at least that's what i'm waiting for for him to just to just die not in real life, but in the video game. Uh, no course. Okay, there's a course there accompanying it here. Um, but I think the same thing is going to happen as last time. These Marines are just going to be able to pick off the dropship. Especially if it's paying attention, going to be able to focus that. Going to come in here. Does stim forward. Does stim. And it's going to pick that off beautifully once again. And yeah, Lovely Rabbit's looking pretty impenetrable. I would just like to see a couple more factories being added on. Um, more scams going down here. Seeing that Dingo doesn't really have an opportunity to do anything else right now. He's just trying to, yeah, get his probe count back up. wonder how many probes this man has built this game. Or this series even so far. He's, he's just always building probes because they're always getting killed. Uh, lovely rabbit has decided now is the time to leave his my base and start applying his more pressure. And I w couldn't say he's wrong. He is maxed out here, and a max Terran army is scary to deal with. He's his bank now is just getting higher and higher and higher, making every drop that comes in less and less effective. Uh, Going to pick off the bunker here as well. Drop coming down here. Lovely Rabbit at 79 workers. Going to dodge the Marines here. Is going to be able to land it. Dropping his Zealots. I don't see any High Templars quite yet. So maybe the dropship with the High Templar ended up dying. And he's just going to be able to get Marines in here. Which, uh, yeah, not going to be 
not going to be doing anything. Uh, the only chance that Marines could do something is if the enemy, or if, if you're using a lot of tanks to defend, you drop the zealots around the workers, or you drop the zealots and then you attack the workers. So this tank's splash damage will kill their own workers. Yes, they will attack themselves. Um, not on purpose, but they will. Um, so here we go. The tank are out here. Gonna wait for his reinforcements to start massing. Doesn't want it to lose these tanks for no reason. Uh, continue to just use stimmed marines and continuing to build up drop ships here. Continuing to drop. Um, I think right here is the best spot to drop if he is going to drop right now. Should maybe be able to scan that and then go over there, but no, he don't give a fuck. Maybe he do give a fuck. All right, he's moving forward. Um, Dingo almost gonna be able to max for the first time here, but this drop is gonna come in here, gonna start dropping these tanks, and I love it. Nice storm though, very nice, very nicely done there uh, by Dingo. Kills we're about to siege up once e again. So yeah, that storm was actually huge. Nice, nice storm. Um. But at the beginning of the end, he's going to start putting Robos over here. He does want to do like a mass reaver drop to uh, devastate this coming in here. So Zealous loaded up, going to try to drop in the back to yeah just spread out this uh, army as much as possible. But uh, with the bunkers out here getting reestablished, reinforcements coming in here. It's just I think it's just the beginning of the end for Dingo. Dingo just took way too many devastating hits to that economy. Um, added a lot of gate or barracks and factories here and yeah this is just this is gg this is gg dingo should know it too he, he, he can see the whole fucking map why don't you know that this game is over and just save us the time and leave you little pussy now nah, tank's gonna just keep moving forward here slowly slowly inching to that um uh, uh, main which you can always see the way they're trying they're always just trying to get those tanks to that main and just slowly moving them forward. Zealot's going to pick that off. But yeah, this bunker is moving in. Um, it's just going to be GG. Dingo took way too much from those drops. Lovely rabbit. Played like a, like a boss, man. Picking off half of his probes there. A couple last-ditch efforts here for Dingo. Dingo finally has a... Uh, a decent worker count and yeah he is going to be able to almost break this but reinforcements are going to come in here and they're never going to stop coming and he's almost at your at your proby dope so gg is going to be called and um yeah dingo going to be one game away from being eliminated from advancing we're not eliminated i guess but uh prevented from advancing right away so we'll jump into the next one, see if Dingo can fight back or if Lovely Rabbit is going to dispose of this garbage man. We'll see you in the next one. Game number five. Mamba number five. <coughs> <coughs> uh, we got Dingo getting Protoss again. Lovely Rabbit, gonna be Terran. So, I love the matchup. We'll see if Dingo can uh, switch it up or if Rabbit's going to continue to steamroll through. Ah. We shall see. Now that I start recording, hopefully. Good, good, good. And let us times for this beginning. Uh, Dingo, for the first time, building his pylon in a different location. But is just going to go for the four gate anyway, just in a little different spot here. Uh, Rabbit, see if he goes for the. Yep, he's going to go for the two barracks academy. Get those medics, marines, stimmed, and fire bats out ASAP. Dingo, not even going to pretend this time. Just going to go scout his opponent immediately, and uh, yeah, not not even going to not even going to send it the other way. He's no longer can put on the masquerade that he needs to scout to get information. He's like, ah, game point. I must pull out all of the stops now. First two zealots gonna run by just like you want. Um, ooh, gonna pick up that uh, SCV that which was making that academy. Gonna slow that down by a couple seconds. 
And uh, going to start going for these workers, keeping them alive. Very nicely done here. Such a headache to deal with. Uh, but he's pretty much dealt with that. And in the meantime, Threezal is going to come in here. Only two Marines in this bunker. So this bunker is going to be vulnerable. Uh, the forge is down as well. So he did. He went, he went four gateway into a forge. And uh, yeah, we've seen it once. We've seen it before. Dingo likes to mass up here. Ah, nicely done. My rabbit picks off that probe. Going to slow down the push a little bit. For Dingo to send out a, another probe. <clears throat> yeah, he's going to be continuing to produce uh, zealots here. Firebat so out with the medics. Stim nearly done here. And yeah, we've, we've, we've seen this before. It's almost like we're watching Deja Vu. So I, I uh, hope you guys don't get offended if I just times to this. I think both players are too good to uh, die to this early pressure um you do see that command center getting thrown down here a gas for the protoss going to uh, again just times two just a little bit because uh like yeah we literally just kind of watched this happen gonna throw down that triple nexus we have to, we, I want to bring it, oh, and triple command center, yeah, so now we're just going back into turtle mode, they've, they've both tried to apply some pressure, but here we go with the Zalots coming in here, going to come in here, double stim, it sounded like, oh, I guess it's two control units of stim going in there, not a double stim, and going to try to fight that without running behind his barracks, normally if you just run behind your barracks, you can, you can trade this a lot more cost efficiently, but, uh, lovely rabbit has a very gosu micro, and is going to be able to push that back without having to go all, to go, go farther than he does, than, yeah, necessary. Uh, loses a fire bat there, unfortunately, too. That one cannon factory is now starting to be built. And, um, yeah, um, we'll it's going to be up to Dingo to do something. Because he knows Lovely Rabbit. He knows that Lovely Rabbit basically has a super strong ass Terran push. He's, he's going to throw some drops in. Like, Terran kind of is like the, the least versatile in the later games. You kind of just you know what you have to do can't really deviate too too much but uh if if that deviation if you just can't beat the deviation then it doesn't matter so uh yeah you have to it's going to be really down to mr dingo to get something done to see what he's going to do different here and zealot getting in here getting as much scouting information as humanly possible but um what is he going to uh, do about it Getting that probe out to expand. Uh, getting. Okay, no, still nothing really new yet. Getting his three upgrades. Which is good. That's something that you want to do as a tripling Protoss. And I think uh, Dingo is just going to go. Except that he's, he's not going to be able to kill the Terran. For a little while and just start massing up. I'm gonna bring these zealots back home. Does not want to get devastated by drops again. See if our lovely rabbit chooses to go for that many drops. Tanks now sieging. Gonna gonna reclaim his main couple of turrets getting thrown down, uh, which is nice. The first drop here, trying to find himself a way in here. Just four zealots in here. <clears throat> so those yeah, those turrets came in at a pretty nice time. And, yeah, it's not going to be too far for Mr. Lovely Rabbit to get into Dingo's base. Uh, not even going for a single dropship this time. Knows that uh, Dingo is probably going to be preparing for that. And, yeah, doesn't doesn't want to uh, bother doing it this round. If it's just going to be, uh, if it's already done its job, you know, you've almost won the dropping game if you, if you just make your opponent do this many cannons. <clears throat> some scans gonna go down, so uh, lovely knows exactly what's gonna go on. I'm gonna bring some siege tanks up here, knowing that drop is going to be uh, the only thing that Dingo is uh, gonna have able to do at this moment. It's not gonna have enough army to break him through the front. He knows that uh, Dingo does have a huge bank though, up to eighty-eight dollars. Just gonna drop here on the side, um, and this is nice. This is what you want to do. You want to clear a pathway for your next million drops that are coming. Still only is he only on, only on a single robo? Adding a second robo now. So yeah, uh, Dingo definitely can see 
Oh no, he has a bunch of robots down here. Never mind. That's weird that he's doing it. Like this is not the best expo. I don't know why you would build your drops from down here. But maybe he just doesn't want them to be seen. I think that's probably the main reason. This is just a yeah, really weird spot. Normally you'd like build it down here, I think. So you can just keep coming up from both sides. You can drop from your side and from the bottom. But I think this is so it's not going to be scouted. I think he's going to go for a mass reaver drop down here. And that is what his uh, play is going to be. Um, it looks like Mr. Lovely Rabbit, though, is well aware. He's, he's been scanning this nicely where he, he knows that that's... Uh, probably going to be the play um nice nice uh job rebuilding the turrets here on the side that's you're definitely gonna have to keep doing that you know that the drops are going to be coming in hot and heavy from this side uh you just know it right it's, it's the best uh, the closest to the mineral spot and his, he's right there building a scout Dingo trying to uh, do his best Tang, or no, his best JH impression. Ah, go build these two <laughs> dumb zealots here in the back. Mm, dingo. Oh, Dingo. Oh, a Dingo ate my baby. I'm too tired to even do a little bit of an accent right now. My voice hasn't fully awoken. Can you guys tell the difference in my voice from the game one to uh, game seven? Because I literally am literally waking up and casting these games. Uh, so, like, yeah, I, 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 when you see me, I've been awake for the first time I speak to you. It's, I've been awake for less than an hour. So, I'm sure that affects my everything. I would, if you guys, yeah, I don't even know. Maybe I'll rewatch and see if I can notice. Uh, we do see the drops coming in here now. Um, Dingo continuing to drop. He's at 96 probes. Um, so he's gonna want to start killing those off, but all of these Marines tanks here just, yeah, gonna be tough to get any damage on. Also pulling the workers here, so no chance that uh, he's gonna be able to get a big drop. He is slowly building up his Reavers down here, and these tanks coming in here, just shoving themselves in in all these cannons. 96 workers, not all of them are sieging up. Gonna get a huge shot off. Gonna get 50, about 50 workers approximately. 47 workers, I would say. If that was to be my official prices right guess, I would say 47 probes just died right there. Uh, which is, yeah, a significant amount, which is more than the last 25 drops that uh, Dingo has done. That's wild if you just... It's wild that they, uh, he's just doing that, just sending in these dropships and all these cannons and uh, getting that off. That like it, it, that looks like, oh, that's so easy to do, but like that's fucking hard to do, man. What he just did there, the scanning and clicking and sieging up all of his tanks while dropping them while they're moving. Like, that's, like that, that, that little maneuver right there, not every single person in the world can do. There's only a select few people in the entire world that can, that can drop uh, tanks like this. Like... People who don't play StarCraft don't realize just how fucking difficult it is to get these dumbass units that were uh, programmed 57 years ago, uh, get them to, to, to yeah to, to move and, and and just listen, obey you like uh, you want them to. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, more scans gonna come down here, and. Um, yeah, we'll see again. Once again, four dropships this time. Not even using defensive matrix. And look at oh, the drops are gonna give a little high five to each other. This drop, uh, gonna try to do something, but it's not gonna do nothing. And then this drop, oh my fucking god, he gets right into it. Gonna siege up, taking out another thirty fucking workers there, at least. And that's crazy, man. Like that's crazy. That is crazy to me. That this is possible, Terran versus Protoss. That uh, yeah, that the Terran drops are way more devastating than the Protoss drops. It's I think it's 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 insane. It's insane. These Koreans are insane, and I'm glad that we are here witnessing this right now. Cause yeah, it's it's beautiful stuff. Uh, <laughs> Dingo not used to losing this many times in the row to uh, people. Um, still trying to get this mass drop going, but now here we go. Sometimes it's actually good to wait for the the Protoss to move out. Yeah, sometimes they'll they'll unseach some of these tanks, and uh, yeah, to move out, so their their base will be a little bit more vulnerable. 
So I, we'll see if that's exactly what Dingo is waiting for. But, um, the second the Terran starts pushing out, you can see that he he's prepared for it. He is going to go in for the mass drop. More scans going down though, and I, I don't think he's going to scan. So yeah, I think that's also why uh, Dingo's placed that building down there. Just the least likely to get scanned. These drops coming in here, but yeah, just too much perfectly placed stuff here. Not going to let that happen. Starting to build ghosts as well. So uh, Lovely Rabbit is suspicious of potential carriers. Uh, it's also good though to lock down some dropships if you can. Uh, try to pick them off. Try to lock them down. And um, yeah, Dingo, you can see he's pulled all of his workers off of his gas because he's just was devastated economically. Um, and yeah, Rabbit moving out. We're going to see this. This is uh, pretty much the all-in plan here for Dingo. If Dingo does not successfully kill the main with this drop, I am willing to bet that it is a GG. So Dingo must get significant damage done with this drop. He has to. Coming in here. We're just watching it. We're watching it. Not the most amount of tanks, only three tanks here. So I think this is actually, if this is all full of reavers, this is going to get the main. And this may just be the saving grace that Mr. Dingo needs right here. That sneaky little bastard. Is he going to keep that main alive? One more shot away from getting the main. He is going to get the main. No repair there for Lovely Rabbit. Lovely Rabbit definitely could have held that. Uh, but he is going to lose all of his workers, all of his main, and um, again, not GG, but now Dingo can, if he's able to get his economy back going, uh, just mass and send, because it's it's tough to, to get the amount of gas you need without a main unless you expand. Uh, you need so much gas to build all of these tanks and, and bio and everything. Well, not maybe not, not, maybe not the bio specifically, but the tanks and the air. Yeah, uh, but if you're able to keep your army alive and not uh, lose it, where you're not forced to rebuild, uh, or you pretty much you can't lose your whole whole army right now. I think that's the easiest way to say this. If Dingo can do one full trade for trade and reset Lovely Rabbit's army completely, then there is a chance. Uh, but if 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 Rabbit's able to keep this alive, he's just going to be able to uh, kill him without a main. It's just good. It's just yeah. It's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter. It's too late in the game for it to matter. But we'll see this first attack coming here. This is absolutely crucial that Dingo does a big time trade here. He has to. So far, so good. Trading pretty decently. You can see Lovely Rabbit really micro to keep this army alive. He needs to keep this alive. Uh, Starting to rebuild some command sites here on the side. He's gonna have to take out these units. All right, all those buildings to, to start collecting gas properly here. And yeah, gonna have, really wants to start building those bunkers. You especially want bunkers now, now that you're going to be a little bit poor here. You can see he's struggling to remax here. He is uh, reproducing what he can here. Does need to send some reinforcements in here, but uh, if, if Dingo's able to get another drop off, <coughs> it's really going to fuck up the economy here. Um, starting to get in here. Closer and closer, Dingo has to prevent this. He has to keep trading, keeping this uh, Terran army as, as low as possible, knowing that he's not going to be able to re be reinforced quite as well. Uh, do like these bunkers a lot. The bunkers are huge right now, and yeah, he's he's, he's going he's to be relying on bunkers a lot more than usual. He wants to spread those tanks, though. Can't be affording those storms like that. Uh, Dingo does have the upgrade on the High Templars for energy, and uh, yeah, he's going to be able to put three storms per. Um, High Templar, if he's able to keep them alive and not get them EMP'd or picked off. Uh, Dingo starting to make more gateways here on the side. Uh, upgrades 2222, 222, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, what is it, 2, 3. So uh, not fully upgraded yet, but everyone is upgrading nicely. Um, Firebatted Bunkers doing a great job here. Um, but yeah, Lovely Rabbit really struggling to utilize all of his production facilities right now. Uh, probably wants to build some more workers, but it looks like Dingo is slowly but surely um, eliminating this base. And you can see it's just so much easier for him to max out now. Uh, Dingo has a, has, has a chance to win this. Finally, finally going to beat that Terran, I think. 
I think this might be the game, but then again, you never know, because like this, these Terran pushes here are just so devastating. Um, so it's not over yet by any means. I think if Dingo's able to just get one more drop off, some people forget to do that. They get the main and they're like, ah, fuck it. Uh, that's that's what I've done. I don't need to drop anymore. But you have to drop because dropping on the on on uh, this is just devastating. Uh, Reaver is coming in here, and yeah, Dingo's just doing a really, really nice job. Storming nicely, always having uh, dropships dropping something while the Zealots are distracting. And uh, yeah, Dingo very nicely micros Protoss versus Terran mass armies. Um, uh, yeah, gonna build another round of dropships. Why not? Why ever leave your base if you can drop as well as Mr. Fucking Lovely Rabbit here? Does have a fourth dropship over here if he does so choose to utilize it? Uh, Def probably doesn't know it exists. I think it's probably from one of the other drops that just kind of made its way over there. See where he f chooses to uh, dive in this time. Gonna just dive in right here on the front again. We're gonna start dropping these tanks. Gonna siege them up. Dingo at 90 workers. Gonna lose 30 there again. So like that's just it's it, it's huge, right? 30 workers is a lot of workers. Now uh, Dingo going to for the first time in a while start applying a little bit of his own pressure here, dropping reavers um, at the choke. Lovely Rabbit, yeah, struggling a lot right now. That main was absolutely devastating. Losing the main and all your workers is absolutely devastating. If you lose your main but you keep all your workers, it's not the end of the world. If you lose all your workers, don't lose your main, not the end of the world, as we've seen. But if you lose all your workers and your main, like, you are really in a deep, deep hole. And so now it is just going to be up to, uh, to, to, to Dingo to just break the Terran player. I feel like he absolutely just needs to do a drop. He do, does one drop, takes out the workers, and then he just masses. You can even do a drop here on the front here. These are all things that uh, it's way easier to uh, know they'll work when you're watching the entire game with every single vision. But um, there's little things that yeah you, you need to try to uh, remember. A bunch of scans going down. Lovely Rabbit not going to give up, but yeah. You can see he hasn't. He just really cannot max out. So uh, all Dingo has to do is uh, just keep trading with him right now, and I think Dingo will win this big drop coming in here. This is what we need to see for him coming down and gonna get a couple kills there. He likes Dingo likes to drop behind that little comp stat station. There's a, like a little tiny area that he continually drops in there. Uh, another drop coming down here. It is going to get not that many kills, but. Uh, nice little, nice try there. Um, Dingo uh, rebuilding his base to get a couple more cannons. Does not want to get dropped anymore. He's sick of getting dropped. Uh, three cannons are supposed to prevent that. Three cannons are supposed to prevent tank drops. That's what Tony G told me. How come they're not stopping the the four the four drop ship? And times the two in this because yeah, uh, Lovely Rabbit doesn't have any choice of what to do. We're just waiting on Dingo to do something to finish off this player. We're gonna see him massing forward here now, not targeting the um, the wall here. But this is, yeah, well, pretty much what Dingo needs to do, he just needs to start plowing in here. Can't love Lovely Rabbit. Um, yeah, just somehow equalize his economy. I don't think he really ever will. I don't think Dingo's going to allow it. Uh, and yeah, I think Dingo is just going to slowly but surely win this game here. Uh, just running those zealous by, which I love to do as well. Just try to spread that army out. You can pick off these turrets. The zealous will continue to pick turrets off until you deal with them. More cannons getting built around little dingo scaredy scared base, but uh, yeah, he, he's on match point, so he doesn't want to throw this game away. He knows that uh, beautiful drops going down there, killing most of his workers. And yeah, I think dingo is going to win this game. Gonna just drop once more, and then he's gonna mass in here. Another beautiful drop. 
getting work done. And then here we go. We're going to start masting in the front. Maybe he's going to go. I don't know. What's he doing? Yeah, going to go carriers, I guess, here. I think Lovely Rabbit's going to probably GG soon here. But at the same time, he, he doesn't, really doesn't want to give up. And I think he thinks that he can win no matter what. If he has a... Uh, yeah, chip in the chair. Massive drop coming in here, too. So it looks like Dingo, yeah. He's just going to have to deal with these drops, which he has been... <laughs> which he has been. You can see all these fucking cannons that he's rebuilt. He pretty much destroyed his own base just to mass more cannons around the base. Another drop coming in here, and yeah. It's it's GG. This is the GOG. Devastation from Dingo. Nothing Mr. Lovely Rabbit could do except for just try to hold on, but more and more drops gonna come in here, and yeah. Cute little, uh. You can watch the old outer version. We'll just watch the rest of the game like this. Imagine trying to cast a whole game like this. It does look cool as fuck, though. I think. I think it looks cool that go here. Okay, what's happening? Fucking GG, lovely rabbit. Stop being BM. It's over. There we go. He does little eyeball, eyeball, GG. And uh, we'll jump into that next game. See you in the next one. All right. Game number six. A lovely rabbit match point once more for him. Uh, Dingo has to win to stay alive. Um, he has to win. Uh... If he wins, yeah, Lovely Rabbit has to win in order to uh, stay uh, for his possibilities. I've already explained all this before. Why the fuck am I explaining again when I'm way too high to uh, remember how to explain it accurately? You guys know what's going on. Match point. Lovely Rabbit one point away from advancing. Dingo has to survive. Um, fortunately, it is the worst matchup possible. Um... But we shall see if Lovely Rabbit can do it. Everyone has their own little different style in this match, and it's uh, it's just not easy to do. So we'll see what what Lovely Rabbit has in store. Looks like, and like look at like this is another thing, right? Just like the like just like Jose, four times in a row, he goes four gateways versus Terran, right? In in mid Zergs. Now that it's a corner Zerg. He's going for Nexus first. So it's like, he, he doesn't just randomize. The, the builds aren't random. Like, sometimes you see players, and they'll, they'll do builds that are random. You can tell they're random because, like, they, they'll... Uh, this doesn't make sense for the matchup. But Jose and Dingo always perfectly picked builds for the match. Like, it's just... I don't know, man. It's fucking wild. It's wild and disgusting at the same time. But I feel like the four gateway is almost better to do but, uh, yeah, we'll see. Whatever, man. Dingo, such a fucking scumbag. Um, and, yeah, I really hope that Rabbit can win this one. Uh, Rabbit is going to see that he is up against a choke, though. So he is going to get a little bit greedy. Um, hopefully he doesn't take any any damage to these first two zealots. Uh, he is going to get that second sunken colony up, which is going to make that wall a complete wall, I think. Nope, never mind. He gets slipped by there. Um... And yeah, Lovely Rabbit gonna have to deal with these two Zealots. Gonna have to build some Zerglings, unfortunately for him. And uh, yeah, uh, surprisingly enough, Dingo being real, real cost efficient with his first two, um, two, two drones, just real confident with them. I don't even know. Did he, I don't even. I wasn't even paying attention to the scouting, but yeah, he, he obviously scouted all fucking heat too. It's like I don't even pay attention to his scouting because it's like, hey, why are you even bothering scouting? We know, we know that you know where he is, and it's like I don't. It seems obvious to me, but maybe I just like maybe I'm clouded. My, my hate is clouded. My judgment for these guys, like I just hate these guys a strange amount. They even, they even if you even look at pictures of them, like they have such hateable faces too. It's like everything about them you just don't like or it's just easy not to like maybe it's, I, mean, I don't know i don't know maybe it's just me uh i hate lebron james too and people for years think that that is unreasonable but fuck lebron james fuck jose and fuck dingo fuck you guys 
Um, lovely Rabbit playing hella, hella aggressive. I like this a lot. Uh, he's going to get himself in a beautiful position. He's going to be able to uh, get a lot of Hydras out. And hopefully he is going to... Um, yeah, stop stop these uh, drops. Uh, this first dropship is going to shuttle over four of these... Um, Zealous, and then I just want I want Rod Rabbit as of right now. He has a beautiful worker count. Get one more geyser, two evil chambers, and just max hydras. Just max hydras. I think that's all you need to do right now. Max hydras so you can defend all these dumbass drops, dumbass mass zealot shit, and then get into your guardians. I think that's what you have to do. I feel like the only chance Zerg has is to mass hydras at the beginning and then slowly get their guardians. Like. But hydras have to be, have to be the first thing you do. I just, I, I'm not, I'm not confident that that the muta play is the right play. Um, surprisingly enough, like the build that uh, Dingo's doing is a lot better with the triple um, nexus. But this is like the Korean version. This is the, the Protoss build I like to do a lot. I don't get the choke out, so my drops are a little bit faster than this. But versus a uh, Korean, I probably would get that choke just because they're so fucking aggressive. Um, he's gonna have two drops. Gonna, I think he's gonna go one from the top, one from the bottom. Um, you have to, you have to do multiple drops because uh, Zergs are just so, or Koreans are just so good at picking off those drops. Just like the Marines, they'll have a stack of hydras here, a stack of hydras here, and then they'll just, yeah, target down those uh, dropships. Mr. Uh, he's even that. Sh it's even an annoying color. I can't even read his name up there, Dingo. Even though I know who it is, because we've just been casting the last five games of these. Um, hey, he's gonna get, he's gonna get this up established up here. Uh, gonna start getting those robos here. The first drops coming in here. He's gonna manage to get both of them in here. So nicely done here. Nice dodge though. The oh, but yeah, that is actually going to be devastating. Got at least what, 20 kills there. Not 20, maybe 10. 13, I don't know, um, but did get some damage, at least 12, yeah, I would say, uh, the first drop, at least 12 workers there, which is good, another drop gonna come in here, um, lovely rabbit though getting back into position, and is gonna be able to target it down, tried to get a storm off on those, um, hydras it looked like, but he kinda panicked and stopped, um, yeah, these fucking... Uh, units on the minimap. I thought this this color was banned. How is how is how is he this color? Isn't this the, the dark blue that is like literally impossible to see on the minimap? And then all of the fucking pubs would pick it. They pick black or whatever. So you just you couldn't see them on the minimap. Like it was nearly impossible to see on the minimap. Uh, I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but yeah, it was real stupid for a while when that, when those colors first got introduced. Uh, Corsair is just going to keep these overlords in check. Uh, one AFK Corsair here. And it uh, looks like he's just going to be massing. He's getting his upgrades going. going to be massing while dropping. Uh, he's going to get into that standard OP Protoss setup here. And um, Lovely Rabbit doing a good job though. Yeah, back up to 50 workers and then he's continuing to build Hydras just like I recommend you do. Um, we're learning a lot of how to play Zerg versus Protoss, I think. Drop gonna get down, and it is gonna land too. I'm gonna get like 40 fucking workers there, 32. I was looking at the top, and I had, I had a highlight, and I still didn't look at the number that I got there, but a devastating drop there once again. Gonna send Rabbit into the Stone Age. Gonna have to spend the next six rounds of Larvae just reproducing. Uh, so yeah, these drops have been, been devastating. Uh, these drops have to have landed though because uh, Lovely Rabbit reacted to this build very, very nicely here. He uh, he was getting himself in a really good spot. He was up to 70 workers a couple times even though he's taken damage on these drops. Drop gonna get in here, gonna get pick it off though. Nicely done there. He has to he has to continue to do that. Um God. Dingo real being a trash can bag here and getting these um cannons here on the side so these overlords cannot even think about leaving 
the the big contain is coming in here. Dingo is going for the late, late, late game here. He <clears throat> has no interest in killing him. Even it, it, this is the, this is the the problem with this dumb shit right here. Even if he does get a drop, even if he gets all 44 drones here. He, he, what, what what can he do? He can't do anything. He has no follow up here. The the, the drops, you can't like I don't know. Uh, the problem with I have with this build is like maybe he just knows something I don't know. But like at ten minutes getting these cannons off, I feel like it's just so fucking weird to do. You you would never see a Korean do it, right? You would never see a Korean do it this early. Maybe later on eventually once he's tried everything to kill you. But like this is. This is just like he's just doing this, just for the fucking sake of doing it. And like later on in the game, it, it obviously is good because then you can just see the mute is leaving, everything leaving. But like right now, he's he's just doing that to get m more vision on his drops here. Um, nicely done there, picks off the right dropship confidently. Uh, these reavers are starting to plow away. Lovely rabbit has done a great job though, continuing to mass sunken uh, at his choke. And yeah, Dingo, I, I guess I also kind of understand why Dingo is doing this since it, it's, uh, it's his match point. Like, it, 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 he has to win this game. If he loses this, then, uh, then there's a possibility he will not, he will not advance. It'll no longer be in his hands. It'll be up down to Lovely Rabbit and Fire Boo. And if Fire Boo is unable to beat Lovely Rabbit, Fire Boo lost 4 nothing to, uh, to Dingo and... Yeah, it's going to be real tough to try to beat someone who beat the guy who 4 0 you. Uh, another nice pickoff here, and now he is getting into the Guardians. This is exactly what you want to do here as the Zerg player. Hydras in the Guardians, keeping your choke alive and not dying to drops. Dingo has been very consistent on these drops, and it's like this... If this is fun to you, just defending drops, then uh, StarCraft the game for you. Beautiful storms here on the Hydras, but that's not what you want to do. That's not the trade that you're looking for. You're not looking for to, to, to drop the Hydralis. Um, and, he, and honestly, I'm really hoping Dingo fucking loses this game just, just because of this. These cannons. These cannons alone have really, really frustrated me. I don't like that at all. I hate it. I actually hate it. Hate that these cannons are being built around. Like, just build pylons. Why don't you just be a normal person and build three pylons? Why well, you gotta add a couple cannons there? Another drop, though. Completely undetected. And I dropped the thing. It is gonna be, it is gonna be a fairly good drop. But again, like, the drop... The drops don't fucking matter when you're not... Okay, now he's following up with something. He, says, he does have a shit ton of reavers up here. He is going to potentially follow this up. But um, I feel like if if, if, if uh, Dingo just chose to do the mass zealot build with this, like uh, behind it, it would it'd actually be better. And this maybe I'm even learning this too. If I'm going to be dropping you, just it's, it's something that everyone knows... So I like that move a lot too. The lurker at the front. That's something everybody knows, but it, it, it's it's so easy to forget. You get a drop, you're like, oh fuck yeah, I got to drop off. <clears throat> uh, that's right. That's gonna slow the zerg down. But then, if you're not attacking and making the the like, you're not killing stuff that the zerg has to rebuild. He's just gonna he's just gonna spend the next fucking two minutes rebuilding workers, and he's gonna be fine again. So, like, you have to be pressuring. He needs to do this while continuing to drop. And while he's massing in the front, he can't stop dropping. He needs to be dropping at the same <clears throat> frequency that he is right now. Um, oh, he almost forgot the old High Templars here. But now we have a devastating amount of Reavers coming in here over the front, which have to be dealt with. And uh, you can't just be rebuilding drones, which is what Lovely Rabbit wants to do. He's, he's, only de he's down to 53 workers. Which uh, isn't a uh, with an ideal amount of workers here. The guardians are here, going to clean up those reavers. Luckily for him, some of these reavers are just so stupid, and um, no course there. So the, the drop is going to come in here at the top, starting to build more and more lurkers as well. He is at 63 workers. Okay, he did pick off the right dropship. Guardian is going to clean up those reavers. And um, okay, so he's just gonna—he's gonna be relying on on storms only. He's not gonna get any corsairs, I think, to fight. 
Um, okay, maybe he is here. Uh, starting to add some drop building things up here. Nice hold here by Lovely Rabbit uh, at 126 supply. <clears throat> 61 drones. He's starting to get his evil chambers up here. And so, like, uh, everything, everything that Rabbit is doing, it gives me a lot of confidence in his Zerg. He, he is playing this uh, as smart as the very smartest foreigner would play on this map in this thing so it's, it's, it's not anything crazy unique but he's doing textbook stuff right now of like how you how you would teach someone to play this matchup uh, obviously I would get a couple more sunkens down here just a couple right because I don't have the reaction time uh, for with the drops like mr. Uh, Koreans do but yeah, the massing of the sunken tier is, 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 is straight out of the SCW textbook of how to play Zerg versus Protoss. Uh, Sword himself would be so proud of this. Sword, I've never seen, you know, the, the host of the SCW, uh, he likes to build more sunkens than I've ever seen in my entire life. I have a real hard time with his Zerg. I'll fuck him up, I'll fuck his Terran up, I'll fuck his Protoss up, but he, he can beat me Zerg versus Protoss, and I hate it. I hate I hate how he does it because he just super turtle like which, which you are supposed to do but like he turtles with so many fucking static defense like he'll have this you think this is a lot he'll have this he'll have fucking sunkens all the way out to here like this whole this whole thing this all will be sunkens and then all down here this will all be fucking sunkens and spores so it's yeah, it's it's frustrating. I don't think we've had a short ZVP ever. It's all, they're always long ass games like this. Um, but in the in the in the, the previous games, we've just seen the Zerg get devastated. So we're seeing at least the power of the corner Zerg here, uh, doing everything it can, doing everything he can perfectly, and he's still like just on the ropes. He's still at 142 supply, um, still just one drop away from being almost fucked completely. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just a real tough matchup. I feel like he's going for a, for for drops. I feel like that's what he wants to do. But he needs some guardians to clear out some of these side um, cannons here. I guess he could just drop right on top of here. Even if you just drop like ten hydras, twelve hydras here, you can clear out all those cannons. Um, these guardians nicely spread around here. Yeah, very nicely done. Lovely rabbit uh, has has uh, yeah good understanding of this map for sure. And, um, yeah, well, we'll see, but we'll see. We'll see. Dingo A is not any slouch Protoss versus Zergen. Like, you can tell by the way he's approached this game, he is not uh, afraid of the late game Protoss versus Zerg. He's confident in it. Um, and, yeah, he's going to do what he can. He just used those drops to prevent the Zerg from getting too big. Like, finally now he's just adding more additional hatcheries. He was, he's adding hatcheries like a madman at the beginning of the game. And uh, here we go. He's, he's starting to do the, the mass which you want. But he can't stop forgetting to drop. He has to continue to be dropping here. Because uh, holding the front isn't too big of a deal. But if you have unlimited resources at your disposal. Uh, not, not unlimited but yeah basically unlimited. You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. Um, he is slowly bringing those sunkens farther and farther back. Uh, Lovely Rabbit does want to make sure he's continuing to build them forward and not just backwards. Lots of storms going down, devastating. And um, if if this this color wasn't so fucking hard to see, I'd be a lot more confident in and times twoing this a little bit. <coughs> because. Um, yeah, we're going to kind of just see uh, a little bit of a stalemate here until someone can do something. But right now, I think it's Lovely Rabbit's game to lose. I think he has done everything perfectly up to this point. And so long as he doesn't make any big mistakes, this should be his game to win. Here's a big drop going down, though. 73. Wow, only loses four workers there. So he pulled every single worker there. Very nicely done here. Um... Yeah, very nice. Just just using his hydras to clean that up. Um, a lot of fight templars. Finally going to kill off some probes. He doesn't have a crazy amount of probes though, so uh, that's actually a little surprising. He had 90 for the longest time before and never 
touched him. Maybe they... Nope, they're not all of his gas workers. Oh, he's sending in a bunch of High Templars here, though. Going to try to clear out those Guardians, but uh, not the best trade there. Um, lovely Rabbit. Um, yeah, just kind of chilling. Not interested in pushing out quite yet anyway. Um, and like versus Protoss, I feel like you, you you have to build some stack defense back there. Like he's committed to doing it up here. Why not just build a little bit? Like just a little bit. Just one line would make me feel so much better because yeah, with the lurkers they can really pick off those high templars before they get a chance to do anything. Um, but nonetheless, lovely rabbit still doing this fairly well. Almost maxed out. Um, gonna just finishing all of his gas now. And he's, yeah, he's going to be at full Zerg mode here soon. I guess he probably, he probably still does want uh, a couple hatcheries. Like he, but he just, he's just doing this nice and patiently. Another drop going to come in here from the top. Beautifully pulls all of his workers, though. Uh, going to get nothing done at all. He's even putting the overlords on top of it just to make it a little bit more harder to see what's going on. Um, that last attack, able to take out five sunken colonies. And, yeah, I, it's, I, Lovely Rabbit definitely doesn't mind turtling both players. Um, playing, like, as much as I, I, not a big fan of watching this, uh, turtle craft. Uh, they're both doing what I would probably be doing in this situation. Um, so I don't blame them. Really, when it really when it comes down to these like super important games, you you want to play your bread and butter, most in most yeah most safe style, right? Like it, it's good and bad, good good for um you, you when you're playing, bad for us when we're watching, cause it's boring. Um, just seeing this like he's literally just gonna be trying to inch forward slowly, 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 slowly. Um, we're going to turn this up to times two, just a little bit. Drop coming down here. Lovely rabbit at 80 workers. Gonna lose. Somehow he somehow he gained a worker through all that, uh, through that drop. Um, and we'll see if he's gonna push out. Like it feels like it's still, like it should. The Zerg probably is the favorite now. Right? The Zerg is officially the favorite. Um, and I feel like the, what you want to do, if you can, is go for the, like those mass reaver drop like you did in that Terran versus Zerg game. Because you're just not much back here. Five lurkers. If you... And yeah, I guess, I guess there's a lot of units, but... Uh, big reaver drop. It's maybe even right here. You drop all the reavers right here. And just target it. Just try to get that main... Lovely rabbit, yeah, just just he's not afraid to um, to go to the long one. Another drop coming down here. 84 workers. Okay, that one got about 30 workers there, so that was a pretty good drop. Going to uh, make Mr. Lovely Rabbit <clears throat> do a round of um, of workers. Yeah, rebuilding those sunkens. And, uh, yeah, Dingo, is he running out of tricks in his book, or is he just one storm away from winning this game? I'm not sure. This is one of those games that it could last for another two hours, and I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, if I if we were casting it live right now, I, I would be pretty sure Lovely Rabbit is going to win. If I've seen the um, spoilers before, I would be really unsure. Because you never quite know if you they were accurate spoilers or what. Uh, but Lovely Rabbit, yeah, I don't think he's going to be dying anytime soon. And I think it's just a matter of time before he's confident enough in his bank to move out. I'm not exactly sure. <clears throat> But Dingo, yeah, doing what he can to stay alive. More and more drops. Nothing really new happening here. 
relying on his High Templars to kill off of... I guess he could use some uh, Corsairs. Not something he's really quite invested a lot in yet, other than just uh, dropping. Oh, shit! Missed a drop. But, uh... Holy shit, actually. That drop was huge. <clears throat> that was a huge drop. It, he got all pretty much there. It looks like he got every single worker while we were times two and up at that front. And you can see Lovely Rabbit down to 50 supply here. So if Dingo can continue to push forward a little bit here, maybe he's got a small window of opportunity. <clears throat> What's he doing back at home? Just, yeah, just dropping and massing. Jagoons, Reavers, High Templar are the units of choice. Dingo inching his way forward. Nice storms. You gotta keep storm, yeah, even if it's one storm per guardian. You gotta do it, since you're not using your Corsairs to pick off anything. Uh, Lovely Rabbit continuing to not build a single defense back at home, leaving him susceptible to those alls. And, uh, yeah, his army's slowly getting lower here. Okay, he did build some more Guardians, so the Guardians, he's gonna have to keep them alive to uh, stop the Reavers. Uh, getting some Archons here. I don't mind seeing them either. Archons can be very good uh, buffers. The ultimate beef boys. And it looks like Lovely Rabbit. I don't. I don't want to say it too early, but it looks like he has been penetrated. Dingo has the tip inside of Lovely Rabbit, and uh, yeah, Lovely Rabbit very very broker than a joker right now. Um, another drop getting ready to go here and if this next drop devastates him once more Dingo my man could be going into the game 7 we could have our, ourselves another game 7 uh, it would be huge of Dingo to be able to take it there he, he definitely um, he definitely wants to what is this what's going to be in this drop just high templars Lovely Rabbit starting to move out. Could this be it? Could this be the beginning of the end for Dingo? This drop, if this drop lands, it's gonna it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Does drop the High Templar? Not gonna get a lot though there at that time. Not gonna get a lot. Um, okay. Oh wait, is there another one though? There's a sneaky, sneaky cheeky. Is there a sneaky cheeky in there? Uh. I can't see what's inside of them. Well, I can see them at the same time. Okay, no cheeky, no cheekies in there. Hmm. What's gonna happen? Where are these guardians going? Oh. Okay. So this is not that many sunken. This is the least amount of sunkens that Lovely Rabbit has had. Um. 173 supply, like this is, he just, he's, he's requiring so many units back here to defend for these drops. I just don't understand why the Koreans refuse to build defense around their main. Like, you put lurkers here, like, it's just, it would just save you so much effort. It's like the Maru with the fucking turrets, man, in the bunkers. Just build the turrets in the bunker. You don't have to be like Dingo and build a thousand cannons all around. You don't have to do that. But build four. Four sunkins down here, four sunkins. Four spores, four spores, and like you will, you'll be amazed at how many times it'll it'll pick off those fucking little drops that are coming in like that. Uh, Dingo moving forward, lovely rabbit, almost completely broke. So he is one drop away just from being dead now. After 31 minutes of grinding out, um. Drop coming in, and once again, it is not going to land. Okay, so nicely done there. And let's do the cheeky guy in there. No, no cheeky. No cheekies in there. Um, Arbiters, nicely. One Guardian, one Devourer here holding on. Um, 
more drones being built right now. And he's, he's going to have to start sending away now units that, that are the only units that are guarding his drops. So here is why, maybe for the millionth time, he should build some fucking shit around his fucking main. Okay? Because, okay, now you got nothing. And you don't have a bank. You don't have a bank. Where's this drop? The drop coming in here at the bottom. 81 workers and nothing back here. Even this dropship knows. No spores back here. He can just drop on top of the lurker. He's going to get a huge drop off. 50, what, 60 workers there. Just for no reason are these drops now landing. Um, and, yeah, a lovely rabbit down to 500 minerals. And Dingo's just going to keep doing this. Dingo's not going to stop. He planned on doing this since minute one. He's like, you know what? For the next hour and a half, I'm going to be committed to just massing Reaver's Dragoons, High Templar in the front, and dropping you every once in a while. That was his whole strategy. He had nothing else in mind other than doing that. So, like, you might as well just fucking do it, man. It drives, it drives me crazy that he's willing to build so many sunkens up here and just none back here. But, hey... He's the poor Zerg man now, who's going to be forced to go to a game seven, I think, and going to give Dingo an opportunity to advance, which would just be absolutely devastating. It would break my heart if the final group had both Dingo and Jose in it. With all the Gosu players here, those two assholes making it to the final group would be devastating for me. Um, Lovely Rabbit down to 80 supply here. Uh, each of these drops now are just getting more and more dangerous. Uh, trying to spread these lurkers out, but reavers are going to devastate them. Another drop here coming in to the bottom. There is hydras in, um, in there, but they are not paying attention. Is going to drop some high templars, and once again, lurker is not going to be enough. And going to lose even six work, seven workers there. He can't risk. He cannot afford that right now. And Lovely Rabbit surely, slowly but surely, is falling apart here. Like, yeah, Dingo's strategy is not changing. You know you know it's coming. And, like, it, it's a fair strategy. It's a fine strategy. Because, uh, yeah, it's hard to break a Zerg with a million sunken colonies. Unless they just let you drop every single time you try to drop. Unless you get a couple kills every single time. Uh, trying to reproduce his drones here. But while he's building drones, he is getting penetrated. He's fully penetrated. And yeah, GG. We're going to a game number seven, ladies and gentlemen. And let's hope it's the Terran vs. Protoss. Because apparently that's the only fun matchup to watch nowadays. Zerg. Anything. I guess Zerg vs. Terran, not the worst either. We'll see. Game number seven. Match point. Um, if Dingo wins, Dingo will advance. I'll be heartbroken. Lovely Rabbit wins. He'll have to face off Fire Boo. Uh, we'll see you in game number seven. I'll see you in game number seven. Game number seven. We have another game seven. Um, good stuff here. And uh, Dingo, if he wants to advance, he's going to have to do it with Zerg. Um... Which you can see brings brings a big old smile to my face. Um, seeing my boy Dingo as Zerg on match point makes me happy. Uh, lovely Rabbit, we've seen his Terran. His Terran can devastate Protosses, so I can only imagine what it's going to do versus a Zerg in this middle position, in these close positions. Um, and look at <laughs> like look at this. Who sends their Overlord like this? Who sends their fucking first Overlord in this direction? In my one million times of playing Zerg in this in this spot, never once have I sent it down here. You send it directly down, you send it directly up, or you send it fucking out. You don't send it diagonal to avoid getting killed by Marines and also scouting your fucking opponent, man. What a scumbag Dingo is. Like, tell me, tell me that that path is not absurd. That's not an absurd path. That you would think that that's something you would take if you knew your opponent was a fucking Terran, right? Because oh my god, like what? Who's? I bet you there's not another game in all of Dingo's whole fucking career where he sends his Overlord over here. I'm prompted. Like what? Uh, now he's gonna say, "Oh, I saw the fucking SCV. 
I saw the SUV, now I can prepare that it's Zerg versus Terran. I'm Dingo! Fuck you, Dingo. You little scumbag. You little garbage scumbag, man. Look at your fucking overlord. Fuck you and your overlord. Hey, hey, Lovely rabbit. Oh, man. I can't wait for you to fucking beat him right now. Hope you beat him with a SUV rush. Fucking pull your SUVs and kill him with SUVs, lovely rabbit. Do it right now. Just because of this fucking scumbag overlord. Oh, my God. And look at... Now he's sending his other overlord down here. Like, oh... It's like you, those are unex those are unexplainable. You can call me crazy all you want, but but that's that's fucking heat, buddy. That's suspiciously fucking heat. And I hope karma rains down on you with a fucking Korean fist. And uh, yeah, I hope that fist goes right up your butthole. And I hope that uh, he forgot his lubrication. Fuck you, Dingo. Uh, beautiful micro there by Lovely Rabbit. He's going for the Two Racks Academy once again. And uh, <laughs> this Overlord, man. This one right here. that This Overlord makes me fucking laugh out loud. I'm LOLing at you, Overlord. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, adding a factory. Not going to get that third uh, barracks. I like that as well. Uh, you do definitely don't need it. But uh, Scumbag Dingo looks like he's probably going to go for some kind of uh, Zergling. Uh, run rush. I think he's gonna go for Zergling speed. We'll see if that first 200 or no. Okay, what's he doing? Layer. Okay, he's going for a layer. Uh, he's gonna try to go for a Mutas maybe, but I think he has w his micro is way too shitty to go for Mutas. I don't think Dingo's gonna be able to uh, pull that off. I think he's gonna have to go for a Hydra's Den. I think his skill level limits him to a Hydra's Den. So go ahead and throw the Hydra's Den down for Lurkers because we know you are a trash bag, scumbag asshole. And um, yeah, let's just go from there. Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna throw down the hydra list. And now this, this normally this is clearly a muta build, but uh, yeah, it's it's. I just, ah, uh, uh, yeah. Fuck you, Dingo. What are you What are you gonna do? Is he gonna build the hydra list? In? Build the hydra list. In. Yeah, we know you're trash, Dingo. You can't micro mutas. Put your hydra list in down. You're not fooling anybody. You're definitely not fooling me. You're not fooling the Tony G. Okay, at the very least, you're not fooling me. Uh, okay, he did add two more barracks here, uh, which is going to be good. Uh, scummy little Zergling just hacked his way into the base somehow. No, he probably just he probably just perfectly went around in a circle, or maybe not. I don't even know. Fuck you, Dingo. Um, Queen's Nestle. He's just going to go for the super quick defilers. Um, but yeah, I don't think that's going to work. I don't think you can do three hatch. Uh, maybe you can, man. I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's going to work. I think uh, Rab is just going to smash this. He's going to, on his first push here, for a siege mode, um, almost done. Probably going to be done by that time that first tank arrives up here. And he's going to start plowing away at the front here. Um, this is going to be a very, very quick hive, though. It's a very quick lurkers. He doesn't have a command center. Sometimes I thought, no, maybe that's the other dude. Um, getting an eBay, which is going to be good. Get some turrets up here. Maybe that will be all he'll need to prevent this from happening. That hive has begun. That is a very, very fast hive. Mr. Dingo going super quick hive. It's a uh, fucking overlord, man. That overlord. Tell me. Tell me right now, pause pause the video and go in the comments and write something, write one sentence on how you feel about this fucking Overlord. I got a lot of strong feelings about that Overlord. Tell me, tell me what you think down there. Um, Cause yeah, fuck that Overlord. Um, such a heat bag. The heat is, heat, I'd, I'd, I'll start a whole documentary on how heat that Overlord was. Netflix special. How to catch a hacker. This fucking overlord. He is a, he's the reason that Dingo got cat hacking. All because of this fucking overlord. What a heat path it took. Holy shiza. Um, yeah, highs take quite a bit of time to finish. Ooh, yeah. First drop coming in here. Three fire bats and a medic. I fucking love that. That'll be very nice. This fucking won't be able to kill that in time. Drop the medic. Drop the fire bats. Stim that shit up. 
Okay, no, that's not what you want to do. Stimming and attacking that, but it's still going to get a couple of uh, shots off here. Very, very nice. A couple of ways where I was really focused on that, that one fire bat instead of these ones. And hell yeah, Dingo, run, you little baby back bitch. Run, run to his workers all the way back here. Uh, nice little drop there. I don't know why he didn't drop more than three. He could have dropped fucking three fire bats, a medic, and then those marines he could have right that just would have been better they could have possibly taken down that sun colony but eh, whatever still go through stuff still got some damage done there the lurkers are out um the mute he's going for the spire did he not get a defiler den no defiler den so just gonna go into the lurkers to try to slow him down right into guardians which is super fucking weird if you got the hive that early why did you get the spire so late dingo you are trash you are choking right now it is game number seven and i think you're about to lose buddy another fire bat drop coming in here rabbit has some awesome drops here beautiful stuff right there holy smolly taking out more and more drones there beautiful stuff there absolutely beautiful I think that's just the same dropship too. I think you're just using that same dropship going back and forth, uh, which is so nice. Continuing to push forward here at the front, pressuring him. And this game number seven is 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 looking super nice here for Lovely Rabbit Dingo. Not even putting up a little bit of fight. The first lurker is actually in position, so that is good for him. I don't think there's any anti-air for a little while here. Command center is just being thrown down now. No calm sats. Oh, there is a vessel. What the fuck am I talking about? Never mind. There is a vessel out. Uh, I remember seeing that earlier too, and I'm just mental. I thought maybe it got picked up. I don't know what I thought. There is. Um, yeah, Dingo just getting pooped on. Uh, gotta love it. I would love to see him erad that um, dropship and then uh, go over here. A couple scourges out here. Gonna try to pick off that vessel and are su is successful. Um, but. I think it's too little, too late. Finally get that defiler done. I don't know. I don't know, man. Dingo was all over the place. I thought for sure he was just going quick ass um, defilers, but he, he took a long time to get that defiler done. Then he he put up that spire pretty late, and uh, yeah, lovely rabbit gonna stim forward here. I don't see a single unit in sight. He's got himself a defiler. What are you saying, Reefer? You dumb shit asshole. The game's over. You're done. Four three win. Out of boy, lovely rabbit. Out of boy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, okay. I just, uh, oh, okay. Do you still want to read? He just wants to play StarCraft, I think. Poor little guy. Lovely Rabbit's like, no, I'm only here for the money, you fucking scumbag. Why would I waste my time on a little PC like you unless I'm getting paid $1,000? Yes. No game? Yes. You win? Yes. Man, Dingo's one dumb fuck. He's so stupid, man. Lovely Rabbit has uh, better comprehension later question mark what does that word mean congratulations lovely rabbit is going to win and uh prevent dingo from advancing rabbit has to face off versus fire boo now and if he manages to beat fire boo he will advance fire boo is the only thing in the path now from mr lovely rabbit uh yeah good job lovely rabbit advancing taking care of mr dingo um yeah dingo <laughs> I don't know what else I could say about Dingo. Dingo and Jose, they, if, if I found out they were just the same person, I wouldn't even be surprised. They fucking, yeah. Or they're, they're, uh, they're brothers that uh, were raised in some kind of prison system together. They could be even be in prison. I'm not, you know what? I'm just going to shut the fuck up about this because I'm going to go down this rabbit hole of BM over uh, people who I've never even met in real life. So, uh, yeah, GG, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that uh, series. It was pretty good. Another another seven-game series. Dingo, he, he did all right considering how much we hate him. And uh, he still lost, though, considering he obviously has some kind of, um, some kind of help. At the, some kind of assistance, at the very least. But yeah, uh, GG guys. We'll see you in the next one. I'm here casting every single series of this tournament uh, with custom thumbnails. Compliment my thumbnails below. And yeah, GG guys. See you next time. <laughs>